Good afternoon. This is Dr. Bill White again here, and I'm with the American Orthodontic Society, and I want to talk to you a little bit this afternoon about acid reflux. Uh, it's it's hard to deal with. In fact, if you don't get the valve fixed coming out of the stomach, you know, then this acid can leak up there and get on in your mouth, in your throat. And if, if you've ever belched any acid out of your stomach up into your mouth, you know what I'm talking about. It, uh, it is potent, I tell you. Uh, it'll dissolve your teeth. And uh, I worked on one man one time and fixed all the teeth that had been eaten away and crowned and fixed things up. And he didn't have the valve fixed, and he was still belching this acid up into his mouth, and it ate around the, the borders of the crowns and hey, the things that I had, and just messed up the work that I had done. Uh, it is devastating. You, the only way you can get permanent relief from it is to get this valve operated on and fixed where it's seals the stomach acid off. Uh, I mean, it is it is potent. You, you don't think of a hard tooth being dissolved away, but it, it would. It would dissolve the teeth uh, away, and I'll show you on this one uh, video that we're doing. It's, it's pretty short. It won't take us very long, and you won't have many patients with this, but when you get one, if you know what to do with it, uh, you can help them a great deal. Now, my son had this uh, to some extent. It wasn't all that bad, but he was eating his teeth up. And so we got the valve repaired, and he's had no more trouble with it. But if you don't get the thing stopped, get it the reason for it, uh, the repairs of the teeth that it e eats away uh, will not last. I can guarantee you that pretty much. Uh, that will happen. So let's uh, take a look here at this young man. He's a, a little bit over 30 years old. A nice young guy. And he had some other orthodontic problems. So we went in and straightened all his teeth up and repaired some of these teeth and would send him to somebody to get further uh, restorative stuff done. But the first thing he's got to do is go get somebody surgically to go in and repair this valve. And uh, this is a, apparently a pretty tedious operation, but it's necessary in this case because it's going to be with you until you, I mean, you eat your teeth completely up of this if it goes long enough. Uh, he's got some just regular orthodontic problems. I don't want to take up your time covering those. We've covered all these problems from many times in many videos in here. And uh, this, this is the uh, upper arch. I already banded the um, six-year molars. Now, you'd have to look at this pretty careful, and you see that the bicuspids are eaten off completely. The lingual cusp is gone down to the gum line. I mean, this just comes off. you got a tooth that would be something like this, and the gum line would be in here, and this thing is just eaten off right down to that gum line. See? And uh, the buccal cusp is eaten down a little bit, but not that much. But you don't notice it as much, but it's eaten off too right in here. And I put a band on this tooth. The molars had got down below the deal, below the line right here, and then filled all this up with cement. I don't see too much of this uh, kind of a plastic cement that we fill the bands with, but it'll show up in some of the other uh, pictures we show you right here. Uh, so anyway, uh, just regular orthodontic problems. He's got a, 
a, va a suction problem too. He sucks on the cheeks, the tongue pulls back, puts pressure on these teeth, pushes them in like that so you see it. Uh, the bicuspids, the cuspids are strong enough to hold up, but it'll push these teeth in, and that you go in and uh, round the teeth out, and then you put a retainer in there because he's not going to stop s sucking on the teeth like that. Now, I jumped one deal here. That's a, This is an 05 when we did this, and looks like uh, 10, 27, of 05, uh, and this is the uh, molar you see right here. It's eaten down to and we'll put a band around that and then etch this and you fill it with composite. Now these bicuspids, they were eaten all far and we put, we drilled in there and put little pins down between the enamel and the dentin kind of into the dentin, but stay, you definitely should stay away from the nerve on this. And you put these little pins in, then you put a band around this and fill it with composite, a good composite, etching, of course, and, and uh, bond it on and then close and have it just barely touching right in this part right here. Then we, we'll band the molars on the case to do that. Uh, now let's see we uh, here we jump and uh, it, it is strange we did not have any or to speak of hardly any etching of the lower teeth I jumped over this uh, picture a while ago but the tongue came up and kind of covered these teeth and it must cover the lower anteriors and the, the back of the upper anteriors. See, these are eaten off a little bit, you know, but not anything like the upper bias and the upper molars in there are just eaten up. Let's take another look at them now that you've looked at that and see how that is done. Now, you can go in and put pins in them if you want to, if you've got a good solid thing, or if you came in. Now, on the case I did several years before this, I don't have any pictures of that guy. I went in and put gold crowns over these, but I didn't get the margin of the crown below the gum deep enough, and the doggone acid got underneath there and got into the tooth, and every time it belted, it'd get acid in it, and it just ruined my crowns and all that tedious work that was done on on this to uh, fix it up so uh, that's it's bad news unless you can get the thing fixed now we went and expanded use uh, brackets uh, you know little s small brackets and just expanded the case and did it just like we do any uh, orthodontic uh, case now if you don't get this fixed that acid can get around those brackets and uh, unless you rinse your mouth every time you belch that stuff or take some soda or something to neutralize the acid, you're going to have a, a problem with it. And here you see where we fill the uh, molar bands up with this uh, kind of a plastic type cement just for a temporary uh, restoration in there and let somebody go in and wrap a good band around there and build it up with a good composite bonded onto the teeth and if they want to put those pins to make sure the bond stays on. Now I don't see the little pins we put on the bicuspids yet and but you see now on the lower arch it's it's pretty good. I mean it's not bad. The tongue comes in and covers it up. Uh, but up above, it's exposed, and it eats the heck out of them. And uh, I see all of his teeth look like they're gr they're ground down. What I think he gets that on them, and they get etched. And then you rub that etched part off, and they the tooth wears faster that way. And so we lined them up just like any orthodontic deal. And in here, 
we have the same thing now excuse me uh, you can see the pins in here and so we went in and put little pins in there to to kind of hold the uh, composite on those bicuspids during the, the treatment of the case. Uh, anyway, this is the the lower arch. It didn't need any uh, filling up like that, but that's what we did on the bottom, uh, I mean on the top, and you can see where the pins are in the case. And uh, that's about it on acid reflux. So if you get somebody in like that, uh, you tell them, well, I can fix your teeth. The only way I know if you crowned everything, <laughs> crowned all those teeth and ran the crowns down under the gum where they couldn't get any acid down there, but that's dangerous. The acid gets in the, the fold of the tissue and gets to the tooth, and doggone it, it messed up the case that I did earlier. So I'm going to uh, close out here. And I uh, tell you, thank you for watching. Uh, the, this is a regular thing that we finish the case and put them in a good retainer. It has a bite plate and everything on it to keep it from deepening. But it's not going to keep it from being etched by the uh, stomach acid. So it will do that. But uh, here it is after it's finished from that point to this point you see so it's just a regular orthodontics stuff and it's same as is always and there we are finished and that's the end of that i appreciate you watching it and we got through this in a short length of time i hope you'll join our uh, group and uh, uh, we appreciate you watching this. Thank you very much, and I'm going to close out now.